Hey everybody, I'm Josh Ajima, Design Make Teach, and today I'm 3D printing and a tree. Why? Well, why not? But uh, more importantly, I wanted to talk to you today about uh, 3D printing in extreme environments. Uh, imagine that you're on a ship or uh, in a natural disaster area or on a war zone or someplace where you don't have access to, to parts and having the ability to uh, uh, 3D print a critical vital part uh, right there on site uh, could could potentially be a, a, a lifesaver. Um, now, in some parts of the world, uh, 3D printing has an advantage just because the supply chain is so long. Uh, shipping away for, for a part uh, can be super expensive because the, the part has to travel thousands of miles. There's uh, There may not be a supply center that, that stocks what you're looking for um, on your continent, right? And so uh, maybe that has to, has to be shipped in. Uh, might, could be very expensive, could take a very long time, and it could be unreliable. The, the chance of you actually getting that, that part uh, uh, might be, be really hit or miss. So uh, the ability to make your own parts on site could, uh, could be potentially very useful in, in some of these uh, very extreme environments. So uh, what's the most extreme environment that we could talk about? Well, that would be space. Uh, and Future Engineers is offering a 3D printing challenge um, in conjunction with ASME and in, uh, with technical assistance from NASA and a, I believe the name of it is Two for the Crew in which they're asking you uh, students to design parts uh, to be printed on the International Space Station. Um, that, that's for the teen prize I think is printed on the International Space Station. Uh, but the idea of this contest is to take uh, two things that are on the International Space Station and create something via 3D printing that can connect those things uh, together and make them useful. So. Um, uh, 3D printing in a tree, uh, probably the most extreme environment that I could find, like uh, uh, right in my neighborhood, uh, right my, near my house. Uh, I would love to hear your uh, extreme 3D printing story. What's the, the craziest uh, place that, that you've uh, done 3D printing, uh, uh, the most extreme conditions or situation? Um, so leave a comment, uh, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Uh, thanks, and have the best day ever. All right, so 3D printing on the tree, how is this happening? Well, here's the printer bot metal, uh, metal simple. Uh, it's uh, clamped down and strapped down, and then it's connected via the laptop power supply over here to this Wagner uh, power center. Um, and kind of that's, that's all there is to it. Uh, I'm printing directly off a micro uh, SD card. Uh, you got to name your uh, G code file auto0.g, and as soon as you plug it in, uh, it'll start start running. <laughs> 